this video about uh, an example about the difference between cash basis accounting and accrual basis accounting. We have an example, a taxi firm. Uh, let's assume that you are planning to start a taxi firm. So you bought a taxi for $32,000 a taxi car the car cost you $32,000 and its useful life is 4 years so the cost that you have is $32,000 ok you start the business and in the first year you collected $10,000 first from uh, your customers so in this page we calculate the net income for the first year using cash basis accounting then using, using accrual, accrual basis, basis accounting so let's see to calculate the, the revenue for the first year we go to the question and we know that in the first year we got 10,000 in revenues so in revenues we have 10,000 dollars ok and for expense because for in cash basis accounting we recognize expense when cash is paid so we have to see uh, what out, outflow uh, of cash happened during the year so we have bought the taxi car for 32,000 and we paid for it so in expense we have 32,000 We'll assume in this question that we only have this expense, the car. So our net income equal to the revenue, revenue 10,000 minus expense, which is 32,000 equal to minus 22,000 so during the first year based on a, a cash basis accounting we have a lose of 22,000 dollars so we can you can say that this business has failed it's a failure for the owner of this business because he has a minus net income he didn't generate uh, income this using cash basis accounting let's see what is the net income if, if we used accrual basis accounting for the first year we have collected 10,000 in revenue so because the service has been delivered to the customer we can recognize revenue so we come here and say revenue is ten thousand dollar and in expense we have uh, in accrual accounting expense is is, uh, is recognized when it's it incurred so for the car it's 32,000 but its useful life is 4 years so this car is good for 4 years not only 1 year so we have to to calculate how much is the cost of this car uh, 
for each year assuming that uh, that uh, there is no residual value for the car so when the, after four years we will scrap the car and uh, we won't be able to resell it so we will say 32 thousand divided by 4 will equal to bring the calculator up 32,000 divided by 4 it's 8,000 so each year my usage of this car is only 8,000 so for expense we have eight thousand dollars in expense so our net income is revenue minus expense which is 10,000 minus 8,000 equals plus 2,000 so when we used a accrual basis accounting we have net income two thousand dollars but here we have a, a negative net income of a twenty two thousand dollars so you can see that uh, there is a big difference between cash basis accounting and accrual basis accounting we can turn a business from a failure to a successful business so if you can think about it you have generated ten thousand dollars of revenue by using eight thousand dollars from the car because the total um, uh, cost of the car is 32,000 but because it's, it's, uh, its useful life is four, th four years so each year we have to expense 8,000 of the car this, uh, this uh, calculating, calculation is called depreciation which we'll talk more in details in later video uh, about depreciation and different methods of depre depreciation uh, depreciating any uh, uh, equipment uh, any asset we have so I hope uh, I succeed explaining the difference between cash basis accounting and accrual basis accounting so the main rule of accrual basis accounting and the main feature is that we can uh, match revenue with expense just a point here if you because you here you expensed the full amount the full cost of the car if you calculated the revenue the net income for the next year for the second year in the second year, we we generate uh, fares or collect fares uh, equal to twenty thousand dollars. So in the second year, you will get revenue twenty thousand dollars minus you don't have any expense for the second year minus zero. It will equal to twenty thousand dollars net income. So if you can see here, revenue and expense 
didn't match you have used the car but it didn't count its uh, cost during the period so accrual basis accounting match the revenue with the cost of generating these revenues thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next videos